Next, I'm gonna go into the guided section. So I'm, I was in expert, now I'm gonna flip into guided up here in the upper middle area. I'm going into guided, and next I'm gonna go into what's called fun edit. So you might just see basics, color, black and white, and fun edits. And then I'm gonna find where it says painterly. So right here, painterly. Now if you have version 18, it might be like over in this corner or over in here, down here, or in version 15, it might be somewhere else, but it's gonna be under fun edits but they added, they keep adding things to each version. So I'm gonna go into Painterly, okay? On the right-hand side, you're gonna see step-by-step step what you need to do. It's so simple and easy. So I'm gonna click on Paintbrush, and you might freak out at first because you might say, what did it just do to my photo? It just made it all hazy. But what it did is it put like a little mask over the top of it, and then see how you have all these presets? You have Four, four different presets. We have bold strokes, we have rough bristles, we have confetti, we have round rhythm. I used bold strokes. You also have different sizes that you can make it. See how big that is? So I'm gonna use my left bracket and my right bracket to make that bigger or smaller. And then once you click here, it will reveal part of your photo. Now this is the cool part. You can change the size or the opacity of that. Right now we have the opacity set to way above. You can also change the angle of your brush, which I usually do. I'll come back in here and do another click. See how that works there? And then if I want to change the angle of that brush, I could even change the brush, like rough bristles or confetti. I don't like confetti that much, or the round rhythm. I really like the bro rolled strokes. And then I can come back in here, and if I want to do some, uh, let's rotate it here a little bit more. See, I think I like it. I can come up here and do stuff like that. See that? And then go down here, and then I can change the opacity to kind of soften it up on the edges. Let's rotate this just a bit, maybe make it a little bit bigger. I'm just giving it a little bit of an opacity out, outside of there. And when you really can see it, you can go here, and see how that is? See how it just blocks it out? Isn't that cool? And the, cool, the one thing is you can co control Z to go back. If you wanted to go back, you can do that. Let me just go a little bit more. I think I want a little bit more showing. Maybe a little more opacity here and over here. And I'm gonna do the black again. And I like that. All right, you all with me so far? So we just did two different things. We went to the paintbrush, we selected a paint, we did the black, we can do a custom color for the background if we want to. So if I click on custom color, I can choose a totally different color, but I'm not going to. Um, we could put a texture on this. I'm not going to in this case, but if you wanted to play around with your photo, you could do a texture. You can do an effect. So there's different effects here. Don't really care for any of them for this particular one. I really like it how it is. I don't know if you noticed that difference there, but you can try this out. It's all trial and error. Then I'm gonna go with next. And see where it says you can save it at this point? Well, we don't wanna save it just yet because we're not done with this layout. We're gonna go to in expert. So continue in expert mode. At this point, it's probably a really, really good idea for you to save. So I'm just gonna go file and save. Actually, you know what? Let me see what it's called. Yeah, I'm going to save it. And let me just see here. We're saving it as a TIFF. I'm going to go with a TIFF because I think that's what a lot of people are using. That's going to be a copy because I don't want to override the other one. I just keep all of this the same. And OK. Next, what we're going to do, on the right-hand side, do you see how we have all these layers? Now, if you know for sure you want to keep all this, we can go ahead and merge all these layers if we want to. So I think, I, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to highlight the top one, and I'm going to highlight the bottom one while I hold my Shift key down, and I should be able to right-click and merge layers. 
that you would not want to do this if you're not sure uh, that you like it or not because you want those layers but I think I'm just going to go ahead and merge those layers next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer on top because we're going to start building uh, the text and the borders and I left a little bit of stuff down here, a little bit of black, more black down here. I should have probably done a little bit more over here uh, for the text because I had that in mind. So I'm going to get my text tool. Let me just show you here. Hold on. Yeah, my, my system's a little slow. My text tool, I have it set to white, which is fine. We can always change it later. I'm going to click one time. I'm going to type, I don't think I spelled that right. Let's just make it larger. Let's make it larger. Sanctuary, yeah, that's how you spell it. I did it right. So I'm just gonna keep that there. Then I'm gonna go get my text tool again because I want there to be Keensburg. So I'm gonna hit the Enter key and, and I'm gonna put this all in caps. I'm gonna put Keensburg space Colorado. And I'm going to do it all in caps. I don't want that to be the, let me zoom in here. I don't want that to be the focal point. I want the wildlife sanctuary, the wild animal sanctuary better, bigger. So I'm going to take my text tool, triple click to select that. And I'm going to take the size down in this. Let's go to 36. And here, if you're in version 19, you got tracking now. I love it. So I'm going to go 200 to push it away. Thanks so much for watching this Sunday snippet. Every Sunday we come out with a short five to 10 minute little snippet taken from our members only classes. So if you are a member and you want to watch this whole entire class, you can go inside the membership area, go inside the academy, and I believe this one was found under 2019 members only classes. You click on that and then you go to using the guided mode to create Digi Scrap layouts with Michelle. And that will get you to this entire class. So if you wanted to finish off that tiger layout, go inside of there and you can watch it there. I'm Michelle Stelling, the founder of the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. And you can also find us on YouTube and Instagram. And we have a private Facebook group that I'll go ahead and put some information about that also on this page. If you want to go to our website, it is naods.com and you can scroll all the way down and you can get a freebie down here where it says most popular websites used by Digi Scrappers, or you can sign up for our weekly free training and you will be getting these Sunday snippets if you don't already get them. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.